Where can you find my favorite pie in Walt Disney World? Check out some beers that have been brewed just for one specific theme park. And uh, what's a vein pod and how do you eat that? Yeah, we've got the answers to all those questions and more here on DFB Guide. Let's win Disney World. everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. We are back with another in our series of exclusive park snacks. So we've got some of our favorite snacks from Animal Kingdom that you can only find there. They are exclusive to that park and we can't wait to share them with you. So let's get started. First up, we gotta tell you about the apple cider donuts. These ones debuted last year, but luckily they have stuck around. We thought they were gonna be gone within a couple of months, but they're still there. Sometimes they're not on the menu, but you can still get them over there at Isle of Java, right before you head from Discovery Island into Dino Land. It's a little coffee window, but you can get these amazing apple cider donuts. They're so good. Little donut holes with icing drizzled over, definitely worth picking up for your family to share. $4.99 or a DDP snack credit. Next up, we have to talk about the Pongo Lumpia. This is over, of course, at Pongu Pongu. In I say of course a lot, don't I, in these videos. I'm sorry, I'll try to stop doing that. But it's over there at Pongu Pongu in Pandora. Pongu Pongu is actually kind of a drink stand or a drink window, really, sort of kiosk. But the Pongo Lumpias are there and available and we love them. What this is is a sweet spring roll with cream cheese and pineapple inside. Absolutely delicious, but they are a love it or hate it kind of thing. We have some DFB team members who don't love them. I personally love them. And remember, they just debuted over in Disneyland as well. So you can grab them over there at Tropical Hideaway in Disneyland. But in Disney World, this is the only place you can get the Pongo Lupia. It's $3.29 or a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. Next up, that mini mango pie. This one's my favorite. My favorite pie in all of Walt Disney World is this mini mango pie that you can get at Yak and Yeti Counter Service or Anandapur Local Foods Cafe. This one is just a typical counter service dessert, but I think it's absolutely exceptional. It is a mango pie with a very thick graham cracker crust all around it. So good. This is one of those that I buy one to eat now and one to save for later. This one's $4.99 and it is a Disney dining plan and snack credit. Next up is that baked mac and cheese that we always talk about over there at Eight Spoon Cafe. Love it, love it, love it. There's three different versions. There's the pulled pork version, the sweet shrimp version, and then of course the regular baked mac and cheese version. So this has gone through a couple iterations since we started to fall in love with it, but we still love it. So the shrimp version is $6.69, pork version is $6.49, both Disney Dining Plan snack credit, and of course so is the regular mac. Next up, the Malva Cake Sunday. This is inspired by South African Malva Pudding. You're gonna get this over at Tamu Tamu Refreshments. And even though you do have some ice cream on top of here, it's not as sweet as you would expect. So this is a good one for people who aren't looking for a super sweet kind of teeth ache kind of snack. So this one's $5.99 and a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. Next up, those french fries with pulled pork and cheese. I know, I shouldn't even talk about these anymore because I just love them so much. I feel like I'm talking about them every video. These are over at Flame Tree Barbecue. It's french fries topped with pulled pork, plastic cheese, which of course isn't plastic. I just call it plastic because it looks like there's no real food in there, but it's one of my favorite things to eat. And then of course, some little representative vegetables on top. And this is $6.99 or a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. Ooh, there is barbecue sauce on top of that too as well, that distinctive flame tree barbecue sauce. All right, we're up to those Animal Kingdom only beers. Now, I think Animal Kingdom is one of the first Disney theme parks that had beers brewed specifically for it when it opened. So the Kungaloosh Spiced Excursion Ale, you can find at Nomad Lounge and at Thirsty River Bar and Trek Snacks. This one is brewed in Miami specifically for Nomad Lounge. That spice flavor comes from cinnamon, cardamom, and a few other spices. So this one, for those of you who don't know too much Disney history or maybe weren't around way back when, Kungaloosh refers to the Adventurers Club. This is, of course, a place that we used to love hanging out when Disney Springs used to have Pleasure Island as part of it when it was downtown Disney. And the Adventurers Club is another sort of arm of the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. And the other beers that are brewed specifically for Animal Kingdom, the Hawks Grog Ale and the Moara High Country Ale, are only at Satuli Canteen or Pongu Pongu. So the Hawks is a fruity hops with notes of apricot and peach. It is a green beer. And Moara is an amber ale with a spicy hop aroma. 
also at Satuli Canteen, you're gonna find that blueberry cream cheese mousse. So this one was one of the original desserts that the restaurant opened with. Still a very popular dessert. It's a cream cheese mousse with a passion fruit curd, and it is a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. Now remember, that blueberry is gonna stain your teeth and your mouth, so just heads up on that. Next up, the Celia Fruit Gummies and Taylu Gummies. These are so fun. You're gonna find these in Pandora at Wind Traders, which is the gift shop right outside of Flight of Passage. You have to kind of walk through it to get out of Flight of Passage. The Celia Fruit is strawberry flavored gummies, basically. And the Taylu Gummies are dragon fruit, lemon, and fruit punch. And they look like little shrimp. They're very, very chewy. And this is one of the little animals that they eat in Pandora. And these are both Disney Dining Plan snacks as well. Also in Pandora, that Fruits of Moara bar. This is a frozen popsicle, basically, which you can only find in Pandora. It's strawberry, lime, and raspberry layered together. You'll find it at ACE Mobile Treats. It's a Disney Dining Plan snack credit for $5.25. Sticking around in Pandora, we're gonna get the Night Blossom. This is one of my very, very favorite things to get when I am in Animal Kingdom. This is the signature drink for Pandora, and it's a non-alcoholic drink. So it's an apple and desert pear flavored slush topped with popping pearls. And you can get it as just the drink, or you can get it in a souvenir mug with a glowing, what they call, Una Delta seed. So that's, of course, a glow cube that looks like an Una Delta seed. You can also top this with rum, and it'll cost a little bit more. The non-alcoholic version in a plain cup though is a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. And then of course the other Pandora exclusive item that we want to tell you about is the Vein Pod Rice Krispie Treat. These are not always available, but when they are, it's kind of funny to buy them. This is over in the Wind Traders shop as well. It's a packaged treat that you can pick up that looks like a very distinctive Vein Pod that you can find in Pandora. You can see a few of them around Pandora as well. It's a really dense Rice Krispie Treat covered in white and milk chocolate and the white Chocolate is colored green. And FYI, a Pandoran vein pod, its purpose is to remove methane from the air, so it smells really, really terrible. So I think it's funny that we actually buy a snack that looks like it, but alas, we do, and I did. So this one is a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. All right, next up, we'll head over into the Harambe area, and there are a couple of drinks to get here. First is the Bebo. This is a kiwi and mango flavored soft drink. You can get it spiked with snow leopard vodka for a leopard's eye adult beverage, but otherwise you can get it at Harambe Market and a couple of other places in Animal Kingdom. You can also pick up Sparberry, which is a tart and tangy soft drink from Zimbabwe. It's kind of like raspberry cream soda. This one is also a Disney Dining Plan snack credit, and you can also find it at Harambe Market in a few other their locations. Now when you're done at Harambe Market, head on over into Zuri's Sweets Shop. This is the candy store in Animal Kingdom. And there are some specialty items here that you can only find at Zuri's, which is uncommon for a candy shop in Disney World. The confectionery, Big Top Treats, Goofy's Candy Company, Candy Cauldron, they all sort of have the same general things. Maybe there's a few unique items, but they're selling the same general things. But here at Zuri's, you can get really, really exclusive stuff, including the specialty and Animal caramel apples, which are super cute. The haystack, which is one of my favorite things to get in Animal Kingdom. These are potato sticks covered in peanut butter, and who wouldn't want that? By the way, moms and dads out there, that sounds like a great snack for this weekend that you guys can all make together. Get a bunch of potato sticks and melt some like butter and peanut butter and make your own haystack. I love it, that sounds fun. I'm gonna do that this weekend with my kid. You can also get those flavored solid chocolate Mickey heads, which these are one of those sleeper hits, I think. I don't think a lot of people know about them or know that they're even there, even though we talk about them from time to time on the channel. There's a milk chocolate solid Mickey head that's flecked with banana chips, and then there's a dark chocolate solid Mickey head that actually has chili pepper flakes throughout, so it has this strong spice to it as well. Really good. These are $3.99 or a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. And then there's those Sahara cake pops, one of my favorite cake pops in Disney World, and again, it's exclusive here to Zuri's Sweets Shop. It's a vanilla cake pop with cinnamon and is coated in white chocolate covered in sort of a cinnamon sugar. And then there's a few, like a little bit of almost pie crust crumbles to sort of look like sand. Really, really good. Again, Disney Dining Plan snack credit on that as well, but probably not worth it because they're only $2.29. All right, next you've got to get a frozen flamingo. This is a frozen concoction with strawberry and passion fruit. It's non-alcoholic, super fun for the kiddos. You're gonna get that at Harambe Market. It is a Disney Dining Plan snack credit as well. 
Now here comes one of our favorites. This is something that I probably get direct messaged to me on a weekly basis from followers on social media. Mr. Kamal's seasoned fries. These are so good. You'll find them at Mr. Kamal's, which is a little tiny kiosk between Asia and Africa in Animal Kingdom. And they're seasoned French fries with tzatziki and sriracha ketchup. So vegetarian, Disney Dining Plan snack credit or $5.99. Great use of a snack credit for these. You've also got the buffalo chicken chips. These you will find in Dino Land at Trilobites. Trilobites has a lot of interesting stuff. They switch it up from time to time, but they'll usually keep that Smoky Bones chocolate shake, which is incredible. That one's a bourbon and candied bacon chocolate shake. And then of course these buffalo chicken chips, which are chips with buffalo chicken on top. And of course some ranch dressing. Sometimes they change this up. They'll do sometimes waffle fries, buffalo waffle fries and things like that. You never quite know what you're gonna get, but the buffalo chicken chips have been around for a while. While. Those are $8.49, not a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. Then there's that warm caramel chocolate brownie. You're gonna find that on Discovery Island, $4.99 and a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. I think you can also get it up at Kusafiri Bakery. And then finally, those fried chicken dumplings with ponzu. These were brand new to the menu at Mr. Kamal's over Christmas time, and they actually came back. They were part of a tasting sampler, and now they're back sort of full time over there at Mr. Kamal's. These are so good, really delicious, definitely, definitely worth getting. And they do come with that citrus-based ponzu sauce, sort of a, a tart accompaniment to those. So these are $5.99 or a Disney Dining Plan snack credit. So there are some of our favorite unique Animal Kingdom snacks. Now, of course, it's not all of them. We do have all of the Animal Kingdom snacks listed in our DFB guide to Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom snacks. You can get that at dfbstore.com. Don't forget to use code YouTube to get a discount on any book or any purchase you make at dfbstore.com. We've got snack books for every park, and we also have our big DFB guide to Walt Disney World Dining which will help you through your planning for any trip you're taking to Disney World in the next year or two. So definitely go check out dfvstore.com. Use code YouTube for a discount. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments your favorite, favorite, favorite Animal Kingdom snack. I can't wait to hear what you guys love and what you crave from that amazing park. This is AJ for Disney Food Vlog, and we'll see you real soon.